You can't see it in real time, but if we speed up the video, you'll see the Boeing 777 production line is on the move. Earlier this year, Boeing put the entire U-shaped manufacturing process into motion. Mechanics install parts and lay down wiring as a tug pulls the airplane sections along the factory floor. It might be inching along, but the movement goes a long way. It brings a sense of urgency to the floor because if you have a problem on the airplane and the mechanic uh, asks for the aircraft to be stopped, we would bring everybody down to the floor, see what they can do to resolve it to get the airplane back up and moving again. This is the final leg of a long journey for this program. To see why, we'd have to travel back several years. This is how the factory used to look, like a parking lot. Plane stayed in the same place until one jet is completed and rolled out the factory. Every other plane then moves up a spot. We tend to have a lot of equipment and parts showing up to support that position. And then if you don't use them, you've got to move them to the next position. And then we had to shuffle all our stuff. And a lot of the battle was trying to find all the stuff from the night before or where it was put. In 2005, encouraged by the success of the 737 team, which launched a moving line and shaved days off the final assembly process, the 777 program decided to give movement a try. Mechanic Mary Mason remembers there were skeptics. Because we're used to the old ways. Employees spent time studying the flow in the factory and strategized on how all the teams would work together under the new system. A year later, Boeing started moving parts of the line forward, and it hasn't looked back since. Here, Ken Moran is working on the main landing gear doors, while the plane moves at about an inch and a half a minute. Uh, I'm about ready to move again, so I just move my pad, and uh, I have to keep pace, keep up. The company also changed the way it handled tools and parts. Machinists used to have to walk to different places in the factory to find all the equipment and parts they needed. No longer do we have to do that. Now, tooling teams assemble all the supplies onto carts that they roll out to designated spots along the airplane. The visual on the floor is very clear. You've got less clutter, uh, very clean. It drives you to have everything in its place during the process because your mechanics are moving along with the airplane as it's moving and you're bringing the equipment as you need it. You can't argue with the time savings. Where it used to take 26 days to assemble a 777, it now only takes 17 days. What we have to do now is build the airplane and make sure that what we do um, is right for our customers. It's going to work and it's here to stay. 